everyone, I am back with another reaction video. I'm Dr. Shirazi, a board certified dermatologist, and I am going to review Maude Apatel's new Vogue beauty and skincare routine. These are very popular. I find that by reviewing other people's skincare, you can take away the good points, the bad points, and hopefully learn a little bit about each person's unique skin type and how their routine would be better or different and it's just interesting to see what other people are using on their skin and euphoria is like the it show right now i'm not sure if i would let my teenager watch this show it's pretty graphic and i did sydney sweeney's routine but i just recently saw that mod Epito, I think that's how you say her name, I'm not sure, but she's really adorable and really simple. I love her on the show. And so I thought it would be fun to take a look at her skincare. But before we get started, don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe and share this with a friend who's also a Euphoria fan and loves skincare. So I was reading a little bit about her in real life. She is not a huge skincare person, but her mom and her sister are, so I think she gets a lot of beauty tips from them. And she's actually a child actor, so is her mom. Apparently she was in one of her mom's films when she was younger, I think in 2012. But she is really doing very well on Euphoria as the new It Girl. I think what I love about her is that she loves simple skincare. And that is gonna be, I think, my mission to you guys is how to simplify your skincare. I think your wallets are gonna be fatter and you are gonna be happier and your skin is gonna be healthier and better in the long run. So I think that's one of the reasons I really liked her skincare routine. And her character on the show is a super fly on the wall vibe. So combining that with her simple skincare in real life, I'm digging it. So let's take a look. Hi, I'm Maude Apatow and this is my everyday skincare routine and red lip makeup look. First, I'll take this headband so I'm getting my hair wet. Great idea. This hat makeup bag. First, I'll start with cleanser. Then I'll use. I love how she pats her skin dry. You shouldn't like rub or be too aggressive with your skin because you can actually damage your skin cells. So the patting method, way to go. Toner. When I started working and wearing more makeup, my skin got a lot worse. So I needed to come up with a routine. And this one I've used like all up. through shooting Euphoria and it's worked. Except for this last week when I broke out. I definitely learned not to pick my skin because it spreads. Like I never believed that when people told me that and then... That is honestly very true because if you think about it, acne breakouts have bacteria in them specifically propiobacteria acmes and what you're gonna do you're just going to push it in deeper and it's gonna come back with friends because the bacteria gets spread into the local areas and by using the force and picking you're gonna create little micro cuts in the skin that gives the bacteria opportunity to go and deeper to the skin. Plus, it delays the healing of breakouts, so you're just looking for a longer recovery with each breakout. I learned that if I pop sits, they, they travel, and that's probably what happened here. I'll go with some moisturizer. My skin's pretty dry, so I try and use a lot of moisturizer. I'll go and use some eye masks. So that's just a really classic cleanse, tone, moisturize. It is perfect and our products are great. And the best time to apply the moisturizer is right on damp skin. I'll use this Shantikai face roller and I love this one, it's amazing. Okay, well now I have just a slight problem. Not, not too bad, we're still doing pretty good. I'm still digging the skincare. But if you do have a lot of active breakouts, friction and rubbing on the skin from tools 
can actually make breakouts worse. So I would suggest avoiding acne prone areas or areas that you have active acne. And it's probably better if you use a serum to glide that rather than a heavy moisturizing cream. And pro tip, you can chill that beauty tool that helps with depuffing and calming the skin and reducing inflammation. Definitely when I'm working, my skin gets a lot worse. And it's taken me a long time to figure out products that don't make me break out. And even still, like I think it's just wearing so much makeup for so many hours and reapplying it and reapplying it, it just gets like so hard not to break out. The one big thing I learned though is making sure all of your makeup's off at the end of the day. That is so important, guys. If you wear makeup, make sure you take it off. There's a lot of reason for this. One, makeup contains a lot of chemicals that can actually damage skin cells. And you know how she was saying, you pile on the makeup and it's like layer after layer of makeup. Well, that is going to interfere with your skin renewing. So it's gonna end up dulling your skin and not allowing the dead skin layers to come off. Not only that, but wearing makeup, lots of it, and not washing it off can actually make your pores bigger because the dirt and debris and the makeup get sort of stuck in the pores and as the pores get more filled, they can actually dilate and get stretched. So over time, there's gonna be a lot of negative effects about it. Plus, the makeup has oils and it has preservatives and long-term, your skin can become sensitized to it so that down the line, you could develop allergies and rashes. So a lot of reasons for you to remove your makeup at the end of the day. Do a red lip. I'll do a lip scrub. Here's the Charlotte Tilbury lip scrub. So, I'm not totally against lip scrubs. I think she has a good reason. Red lipstick can be difficult to wear and it can get kind of cracked and dry. So maybe you would do it occasionally, but it's not like the skin. The lips are very thin, they're very delicate and very fragile. So you do not want to exfoliate the lips like you exfoliate the face. Um, but I guess if you're gonna do a red lipstick and once in a while it's okay, just make sure you hydrate with an oil or an ointment right after you scrub and be super, super gentle because like I said, the lip skin is very thin. It doesn't take a lot to create you know, a deeper wound or a, you know, go deeper than you really want to go. My mom is super into skincare. She's always had like a million products and she's always trying different things. Whereas I like have a few products and I just stick with the same couple. But my sister is like really good at makeup and skincare and really into that. She's like amazing at it. And I think my mom and I learn most of the makeup tricks and skincare tricks from my, my younger sister. You know, simple is better. Sister. I'll put the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Lip Oil. This stuff's so good. That's good. I mean, honestly, you could just use Vaseline. That works just as well. Next, I'll use some sunblock. There we go. I like her even more already. I sometimes get ahead of myself and drive myself to the ground and so oh. I feel like my best self-care is just like laying down with my cats, watching TV, just totally trying to, trying to relax. I have four it's cats. My too. parents have two cats and I have two cats, but my landlord doesn't allow cats in my apartment building. So now my parents have four cats and <laughs> they take care of all of them. Okay, let's move on to makeup. Luminous Silk. Primer. Okay, makeup I don't know much about, but one of my tricks for having a very even toned makeup appearance is hydrating with a serum, particularly a hyaluronic acid serum, before you put your foundation on because it just kind of gives your skin a dewy appearance and makes the makeup go on smoother. I personally love Skin Tight. It also has niacinamide in it and it's a, it serves as a great primer under makeup, but I'm sure what she uses you know, works well for her. So recap, I love her skincare routine. It's simple, it's got all the essential things. She cleansed, she toned, and she moisturized. 
And on top of that, she wore sunscreen. But nowadays, I feel like you can find moisturizers with an SPF in it already, so you can skip that extra step. So I hope that was helpful. I loved her skincare routine. I think she's awesome. She is super simple. If she continues to break out, I would recommend she sees a dermatologist, because sometimes you do need prescriptions to control your breakouts. Even though that toner she uses is great, it may not be enough. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you're a Euphoria fan and what topics you want to see next. Until next time.